This is the future of grassland birds. The calls of the grasshopper sparrow and the dick thistle are in danger of being silenced. These birds are common nesting species of the Great Plains, and they are facing population declines. Key to declines of all grassland birds is the loss of nesting and migrating habitat, and the disruption of those processes which produce the grasslands. The grasslands developed under cyclical and natural disturbances. Grazing by nomadic bison herds, drought, and fire, suppressed tree growth, and produced open areas of vegetation for which grassland birds have adapted. Now, only a small percentage of America's grasslands remain, and 85% of these lands are privately owned. Producers and land managers are valued partners in grassland bird conservation because agricultural lands have come to represent critical grassland bird habitat. Encouraging grassland birds on your land can be financially rewarding. Birds can provide recreation opportunities and services which can improve range condition, including insect control and pollination. Their presence also reflects habitat quality under sustainable land use practices. In Kansas, the Nature Conservancy Cheyenne Bottoms Preserve is one example of how we can achieve this. Through cattle grazing, they generate income while also creating diverse nesting habitat. Bird populations they hope to increase are the grasshopper sparrow. The eastern and western meadowlark. Upland sandpiper. And the dick sisal. In the nesting season, some grassland birds arrive here as hungry migrants, ready to attract mates and to rear nestlings before they return to their wintering grounds. During this time, the preserve conducts research to evaluate the success of its grazing regime on increasing bird populations. Nesting surveys, conducted by a researcher at Jorge State University, will also aid the Nature Conservancy as it continues to revise its management plan. This research has also given us a rare glimpse into nesting habitat and bird behavior. Grassland birds raise their young on the ground, often in simple cup-like nests. Or, if they are brood parasites, like the brown-headed cowbird, they won't make a nest at all, and instead, will lay their eggs in the nests of other birds. But for most grassland birds, raising a single nest from egg to that final fledging stage is a process which can take up to a month. During this time, birds are attentive parents and have developed behaviors to protect their nestlings from predators, including a combination of broken wing displays and warning calls. With your help, the hidden lives of grassland birds, as we have seen here at the Nature Conservancy, can continue to thrive. To bring enjoyment, to educate, and to serve as indicators of sustainable land use. Creating migrating and nesting habitat for grassland birds is specific to your own financial and range improvement goals. But it is clear, land managers directly contribute to conserving wildlife as well as our way of life. Let's see if you can tell this. I think this one's parasitized. Yeah, two cowbirds are in there. Two cowbirds.